Hello everyone. I am very excited to introduce our work. Compensation Tracker. Reprocessing Lost Object for Multi-Object Tracking. Before talking about the details of our work, I want to analyze of lost objects. The tracking quantity of two models FAIR V1 and JDE accounts for about 60% in GT. Results indicate that the generalization ability of two models area good enough in dense regions. There is a high probability in lost tracking due to the poor performance of detector. Result proves that our compensation objects is effective and credible. To sum up, CT succeeds in improving the tracking performance of the model in dense crowd areas. The upper limit of the tracking quality of the tracking by detection paradigm at this stage is determined by the performance of the detector. If the detector performs poorly, the tracking quality will also be greatly affected. According to that, there will be many missed detection caused by detector performance problems in the lost target. Therefore, we propose a compensation tracker for lost targets that can be embedded into any tracking by detection paradigm. It mainly uses the historical information of lost objects and the image information of the current frame for limited calculation. Selects the missed detection caused by the insufficient performance of the detector from the lost targets and outputs it to the tracking sequence. Let's talk about the details of our work. Figure A is an online tracking pipeline of compensation tracker. As can be seen from the flow chart, our CT tracker rates to be embedded at the end of the tracker. And it is independent. So it can be embedded in any tracker that follows the tracking by detection paradigm. CT acquires two inputs lost objects LT and tracked objects TT respectively. In the motion compensation module, we use the Kalman filter with uniform motion and linear observation by default. Therefore, input LT to predict the existing position of the current frame through motion compensation. Get predicted box PBT. And then input it into the object selection module. In confidence interference filtering, we consider it as the maximum of compensation frame value and employ the compensation confidence CF threshold to avoid the generation of error bounding box dot in boundary interference filtering. We to calculate whether the center point of PBT crosses the boundary of the image. This module is mainly designed to filter error box in advance to reduce the subsequent calculation. We define the finely tracked clipping box image CB and the crop the image according to PB size is PCB. In IOU interference filtering, we eliminate the box with object occlusion and object overlap to further prevent wrong compensation. Then input CB and PCB into appearance interference filtering, which is mainly composed of SIFT feature extraction and KNN matching. Then, if the threshold theta M is exceeded, we will carry out the final box correction, filter those with larger or smaller PB, finally. It is output to the tracking sequence. From the table, we can see that CT is insensitive to hyperparameter. Both JD and FAIR V1 with CT have been improved. Both SORT and MOTDT in Tractor have improved after embedding CT. Compared with baseline, MOTA increased by 7.3% and IDF1 each 67%. We propose a simple and effective compensation tracker with low computation, which can be embedded into the end of any tracker following tracking by detection paradigm. Compared with the existing methods, CT has advantage sought only in improving the accuracy and amount of calculation.